Hello everybody, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to the Telephone Hop. I am part of Scrappy Shenanigans. This is also going to be um, a Love Your Scraps video because I'm using some scraps from the very first video I posted from the series where I went through my scrap bag and was just kind of showing you how I go about it and I had picked a few different pattern papers and so I'm going to use some of those today. Now I am number three in line for uh, Scrappy Shenanigans this round and I got my layout from Kelsey. It's gorgeous. I loved it. However, I did not have a layout that I was working on or needed to, to create um, that had three photos. So I have to play with this a little bit. Now, all I'm gonna do with first is I absolutely felt like playing. I wanted to get this watery looking background. So I am using some of my Jane Davenport watercolor ink things, I'm not really sure what they're called. Um, I, I know the, the other brand that you call them mermaid markers. Um, I don't think that's what these are. Maybe they are. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm playing, as you can see. And I simply just did little tiny drops. And then that Febreze bottle that you see there, it's not Febreze. There's, there's water in it. And I went ahead and sprayed that and just kind of did what you saw. And I love the way that that turned out. I did soak it up a little bit so that it wasn't quite so um, bright. I like a little bit more of a muted look. Of course, this is supposed to be water themed, so kind of go in there. I'm also going to use this triangle stencil. Now this isn't actually a stencil. I think it's meant to be mist it over and then you use it on your project. I use it as a stencil and I'm using some shimmers except this is so old that I can barely barely get anything out of it so I'm going to use it for this project and then that bottle um, goes away so that teaches me I need to use my paste quicker than I do um, but that's okay it gave me the look I wanted I like that I'm also going to go ahead and take my circle stencil. This is an actual stencil and I'm going to use this. And now this is paint, so it doesn't dry. It's fine. It does um, have a basically the exact same color tone to it, maybe a slight bit darker, but yes, it's all in that tealy kind of color. Um, the reason being is originally I am thinking about using the cup file that you see off to the left there which has a really fun pop of blue underneath it. And so I felt if my background had more of the teal, the blue would then come on top of that. I finish it off as well by using some Spiegel Mom Scrap sequins and it's the Flamingo Bay mix. I love that mix. It's from July of this year and I just, oh, I love that mix so much. So I had to use that, it totally fit the vibes perfectly. And so I'm gonna play with that put everything together, found my two photos there. And what I'm deciding to do is instead of having the two photos back to back um, or on top of each other, like you see in the, the original layout there by Kelsey, sorry, my brain just completely left me. Um, I'm gonna do them side by side. And then you're gonna see as after I build my layers, my title's gonna go above that. But before I go there, I have to work on my layers. So here are the pattern papers I was talking about. This is why it's a Love Your Scraps um, series. Everything I'm using, it's all scraps. And I just kind of rip pieces here and there and try to make it. I can see that what I think Kelsey has done is she's used um, Project Life cards to create her layers underneath her photos. And I didn't want to use Project Life cards. A, I don't have that many. B, I wanted to use my scraps. So I'm trying to mimic that by cutting them. I did try to cut them into like a, a three by four type size. So, um, you know, I'm just kind of working with it. And I really like the way my layering turned out. It's a little bit different for me. I haven't done like this much layering underneath my photos in a while. So it was fun to kind of see what I could create and see if I could kind of mimic the look that Kelsey was had on hers. Let's be honest. Um, this layout um, already looks a little bit different and I <laughs> I tried I tried to make it work and you can see where the influence came but I completely changed it up so three people in and Scrappy Shenanigans layout is going to make a huge left turn <laughs> and I pass this on to Katie so you'll have to check that out tomorrow to see what Katie does I can't wait to see what Katie does if she like kind of follows my vibe or if she completely changes it up. So it could be like by the end of this one, it could just be really different. But 
again, that's the whole point about this fun series about doing a telephone hop like this is you have a, no idea where it's going to go. And it's fun when people do little tweaks here and there to change it up. And then you can be like, how on earth did it start here and go there? I love it. I think it's just tons of fun. So I'm still working with my layers here. I play around with them for quite a while. Um, I really wanted to make sure that I used every little bit that I possibly could because once I was done with these particular um, scraps, I, I decided I was gonna throw them away. I wasn't gonna keep them anymore. As painful as it was with that beautiful floral right there, that may be one of my all time favorite pattern papers. It is from the Pure Collection. I think that's like 2012, like it's quite old. Uh, but I just, I loved that. I love the blue florals. I just, I loved it all. Now I'm also adding this little tiny, little tiny pop of pink. <laughs> um, mostly because I just like the leaves. I thought they were pretty. And I want to bring in just a little tiny tad touch of my stash kit for Shop It and Stash It. Now I'm creating this all the way back in very, very late July, early August. So I had already created my stash kit. I knew what it was, what it was going to be. And I, uh, I kind of had to do the math to figure out if I needed to use my shop kit or my stash kit. And so I feel like this is going to be in line with the stash. So that's where, what I'm using. Uh, so a couple of the frames, I do try to work these in. I do manage to work, um, a couple of them in, but it was challenging to get the frames. I was really, tr this is where I'm really trying to make sure that the notes from Kelsey's layout are in there is with these frames and little bits and pieces that I add. Um, and I found it challenging, but I was able to make it work in the end, which is awesome. And of course, really what I'm doing is basically paper is from the scraps. The embellishments are from my stash kit and which is fine because it's a stash kit, which <laughs> works with your scraps perfectly. And then of course the background was something I just created. So here's an idea of a way to really go deep, find a couple different things that you're working with. If you'd like to do multiple things at once if you get bored a lot and you want to work with multiple things and make it work for you. So I'm just going to do my title and I'm going to call it homemade getaway, which brings you to the point of these photos. They were taken back this spring. We had um, a nice stretch of weather in May where it was hot enough for them to play in the water. And of course, because it was the middle of Corona, our splash pads were all closed and we couldn't do anything um, to let them go and have fun anywhere else. And so we kind of just set up the sprinklers and just tried to make it as fun as possible for them to have in our own backyard. And they had fun and I think it worked out well. I know that they enjoyed playing with the hose and just spraying each other with the hose more than anything. So I got these two cute photos of my boys and I have another one of my daughter that I think I've already scrapped and if not, it's coming up. Um, so I kind of separated them, but they'll go side by side in, um, in the album. So it's, it'll work perfectly. And I just love it. So I add this car. It has a nothing to do. <laughs> this car has nothing to do with it, but I felt like it matched the mood and the fact that it was a homemade getaway. I felt like it kind of maybe emphasized on that. I don't know, but I'm going to make that work. I add that little, um, right into the sun and all of that as well and then just because you know I've already haven't twisted this <laughs> layout up enough from the original I am going to take a whole bunch of triangles that you can see down there and I'm just gonna line them right up on the left right by the photo of Barrett and I tuck them kind of up so there's a bit of um vertical design to this and it just gives it just a little pop of interest it's not a ton just a little bit of something I also add those banners bringing in that teal again I really want to emphasize on that kind of watery type look there and that basically wraps it up so tomorrow make sure you head on over and check out Katie's version if you haven't seen Kelsey's hop back so you can check out hers and thank you everyone so much for watching Daisy should also have a scraps video up for you today so make sure you head on over there as well all right everyone I think I'm about wrapped up here I'm just going to finish off with these triangles I hope you can see that kind of look and how it just helps finish off the page there and yeah I'm going to tuck a couple words in as well I forgot I had done that just pop of pop of gold you always need a little pop of gold here and there somewhere and a tag to finish off trying to have a, a nice little nod there to Kelsey's layout 
please make sure you use my code Christy15 if you want any sequins from the Spiegelman Scrap Shop. And here's a look at my finished layout. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.